a very warm welcome to Finland, where the capital coastal city of Helsinki has a long sporting tradition, having staged at events such as the 1952 Summer Olympic Games and the first ever World Athletics Championships in 1983. But all this week it's the sport of badminton that will take centre stage, as we will be based in Vanta, which is just north of Helsinki, for the 17th staging of the Total Energies. BWF Sudaman Cup, the World Mixed Team Championships. And isn't that beautiful? Our venue here this morning just emerging from the mist. Now we have a completely new format for the Sudaman Cup. Just 16 teams with representatives from all five continents. Not only eight teams from Asia and five from Europe, but also Tahiti representing Oceania, Canada for Pan America, and Egypt representing the African continent. So teams from all corners of the globe. Now the tournament format means that the 16 teams are divided into four groups of four and so for the first five days of competition it's the group round robin stage after which it's only the top two teams from each of the four groups who will progress through to the quarter-final knockout stage to be played on Friday, semi-finals on Saturday and the final on Sunday. Three different countries have won this competition in the past, the defending champions and the number one seeds who have won the trophy an incredible 11 times are in Group A. Korea, the four-time former winners and number five seeds this year, they're in Group B. And the first ever winners of the Sudaman Cup, Indonesia, are the number three seeds and they are in Group C. Japan, the beaten finalists of the last Sudaman Cup, are the number two seeds and therefore are in Group D. So day three of competition and we have two sessions today and here this morning on court one we are starting with a group B encounter with the number four seeds Chinese Taipei against Germany. Then this afternoon it's another group B tie four times winners Korea against Tahiti. Now this is absolutely vital this morning's match because I can tell you in Group B, Chinese Taipei on Sunday beat Tahiti 5-love and Korea beat Germany 4-1. So for Germany to try and progress through to the quarterfinal knockout stage, they simply have to beat Chinese Taipei in this morning's encounter. So. All the players arrived a little earlier and all teams were in great spirits. The team huddle from Chinese Taipei. Different team selection from their match before. And I can tell you Chinese Taipei have reached the quarter-final stage at the last five Sudaman Cup competitions and are desperately hoping to go at least one better this year. Germany. Well, they're always in high spirits, aren't they? The Germans dressed up this morning in fine voice with their team huddle. Yes, they do love these occasions. And I can tell you, uh, Germany have twice reached the quarterfinal stage. But this is the order of play for this crucial uh, Group B encounter. We're starting with mixed doubles. Uh, Lee and Shu up against uh, Fulker and Effler, the German, a brand new pair. Then it's Ben Singles and the former world number two, Chiu Tien Chen, up against Fabian Roth, who's recently back from a serious knee injury. Women's singles, this could be an excellent match. Pai Yu Po up against Yvonne Lee. Then men's doubles and Lee and Yang up against the European Championship silver medalists, Lansfus and Seidel. And then the last of the five matches is women's doubles. Su Ya Ching and Hu Ling Fang up against Kuspert and Moschinsky. A new pair who are fresh from victory at the Ukraine international event. So the first of our matches today, well, this could prove absolutely crucial, couldn't it? I'm going to say that about every match, but Li Zhihui and Su Ya Ching for Chinese Taipei up against Yan Colin Falka and Linda Effler, who have never played together in an international tournament. That was a little bit of a surprise to us, that selection in the mixed doubles for Germany. Well, 
as we wait for the players to be announced onto court and they're literally coming onto centre stage it is the pair from Chinese Taipei who comes out first Li Zhehui and Su Yaqing currently number 24 in the world ranking been playing together since 2018 when they formed their partnership at the Malaysian Open 750 event and here is the brand new partnership of Jan Colin Falka and Linda Effler well both very fine mixed doubles players there is absolutely no question of that uh, both the Germans but we don't know what they're like as a partnership first meeting obviously between the two pairs because it's the first time the Germans have played together now our umpire for this one Gunnar Latvian Germany, so, Germany won the toss and chose to serve so that means that the pair from Chinese Taipei got the choice of ends. Tall athlete is Linda Effler. There she is, very fine women's doubles player as well with Isabel Hertrick as she was. Lohau now that she's Correct. married. Yes. Got married since the Olympic Games. So the pair from Chinese Taipei, Li Zhehui, is 27 years of age. They have been a little bit higher in their ranking. As you can see, three places higher for one week before the rankings were frozen. The rankings were frozen after the ranking of the 17th of March last year. We're semi-unfrozen our rankings now, but... Yeah, not completely unfrozen. He, of course, had a wonderful men's doubles partnership with Li Yang, who's now the Olympic champion with Wang Chilin. His partner, Su Yaqing, is 30 years of age and she's a really remarkable character, born in Tainan, which is in the south of the island, one of the oldest cities in the region. And she trained and has become a fully qualified dentist while still continuing with her badminton career and training as well. To be able to do that, such hard studies, such as dentistry, is quite remarkable. Jan Colin Fulka is 23 years of age, born in the port city of Hamburg lives in Saarbrücken and as you can see they, they do not have a world ranking so his partner Linda Effler I can quickly tell you is 26 years of aim of age born in in Stedden in the North Rhine and she's been I can tell you in mixed doubles has been as high as 12 and that was with Marvin Seidel that was for one week from the 5th of July 2018 so that highest ranking is uh, not quite right as far as Linda Effler is concerned so our court officials for this one from Latvia and Belgium So when we look down the order of play, Morton, I think every single match, a match-up, I'm thinking this is crucial. Yeah, you, you're totally right. It's um, it's crucial for for Germany. However, um, I think that Isabel is uh, surely missed in in the lineup um, to do really well for the German team. So it's interesting to see whether the young players that they're fielding can fill the shoes, so to speak. Germany, represented by 
Linda Effner, Jan Colin Falker, David Lee, and on my left, Chinese Taipei, represented by Li Jiequan and Xu Yaqing. David Lee. Germany to serve, Linda Effner to Su Yaqing. Love all. Play. So this Group B crucial match in the Sudaman Cup getting underway. Germany represented by Fulka and Effler nearest to us against Chinese Taipei, Li Jiehui and Su Yaqing. That was a very good interception by Efla there at the net on the backhand side. It's always very important to get a good start. Oh, behind yeah. the back. Well, went wide. Yeah, almost kept it in. Now, Morton, I've been doing a little bit of prep on Linda Effler since she split from Marvin Seidel. That was a, a, a very successful partnership, yes, as I was saying, got to number absolutely. 12 in the world, won a couple of titles, the Spanish International Challenger and the White Knights event. And since then, she has played with Bjarne Gies and also with Daniel Hess. And she's entered into the Denmark Open with Jones Ralphie Janssen. Yes. So here we are, fourth partner <laughs> in less than 12 months. Yeah. That is why I say, say I think it's a surprising selection. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Um, I'm, I'm really uh, missing uh, Isabel in, in the lineup, uh, whether she was playing uh, both the mixed doubles and the women's doubles or just one of them. She's surely missed in, in the lineup. Um, but. Uh, you know, sometimes when you bring new partnerships together, playing for the first time, they can create that little bit of extra energy, and perhaps that's what the Germans are looking for. Service ball, call, goodbye. Well, service judge Robertson Marland from Belgium. Oof, goodness, is she all right? Yeah. Yeah, well, that was a very, very good uh, attack by Sue. Very steep. Service fault called. My goodness, both of the players from Chinese Taipei have been called a fault. Very, very good all round player has Su Yao Ching been. She was a good women's singles player, was in three tournament finals in women's singles. Wonderful doubles player and wonderful mixed player. Yeah, she's Rarity. very versatile. Yeah. Oh, nice kill. Really nice kill at the net, well covered by Su Yaqing on that backhand side. Trying to have a look at this one, that's a beauty. Yeah. And to fit all her dentistry studies around all of her badminton tournaments has been remarkable. That's a nice rally. Well, the pair from Chinese Taipei obviously wanting to get on the attack as much as possible, but they really shot to prominence as a pair in 2019 winners' qualifiers. They won the USA Open 
a 300 event, beating Tom Jiquel and Delphine Del Rue in the final. Oh, that's a beautiful, really nice disguised shot there from Lee holding and then at flicking it cross court. Completely wrong footing at Fulke. Oh yes, finds the gap again. Yeah, the French pair they beat in the US Open is uh, it's close to top 10 on the world ranking these days, aren't they? They're in the top 10, I they think. They are, are just inside. Are they? Let me double check that. Yeah, it's... They are number 10. Number 10. Oh. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Just a hunch. Seven, nine. And it's very, very important for the German combination to play as much to the mid-court areas and, and block shots and take the pace out of the game, be good and strong around the service situation if they're going to stand any chance of winning this because as we can see the power from Lee and Sue is really quite tremendous as and when they get on their attack. It's called fault it's again. Going to be a long, long match. If you look at it from uh, Lee and Sue's point of view when it comes to serving. Wait. So back level, ten all. But there's no doubt that if the Chinese Taipei pair are not getting their services under control, they will be in deep trouble. Yeah. a little bit of trickery attempted there by Li Jo Hui and he makes the error and it means that the Germans have a one point advantage at the mid-game interval. Was that a, a Danish accent I heard with the German coach? I think so, yes. Don't know him? No, I, uh, I yep, must uh, say it's, it's a little bit of a surprise to me. Yep, Jebe that's, that's yeah, that's correct. Yeah. That's correct. It was definitely Danish accent. Oh, good defence there from Fulker. Oh, that's a pity. They built the rally well.
And that was a simple mistake from Furka. Not even close. Not so much pace for him to feed off, though. No, it's, it's always tricky when you have to play these soft shots below the tape. But uh, to be a good mixed doubles player, that's, that's the whole trick, to be able to control shots like that. Well, that was another fault called. It's too high on Su Ya Ching. Well, 1.15 metres. Yeah. Uh, she's only 168 metres, uh, 1.68 metres. Yeah. So it's going to be well above halfway up her height. Yeah, but uh, it's impossible for us. It is sitting, impossible. Sitting here in the box. I, I totally agree. the only one that can tell. Yeah. And that's the, the service judge. But there's no doubt is denting the performance yeah. of Li and Su. No doubt. They are on shaky grounds at the moment due to this. Now oh, that's a beautiful surf. Yes, lovely, wasn't it? Skimming over the net. Uh, it's good interception from Su Ya Ching. Everything correct and with the follow-up. Yeah. Literally a fresh air shot. Yeah, that's very, very unusual. He must have been watching his opponent. Oh, that's just extraordinary. And that's a high surf. Very, very loose surf. No quality from Fulka on that one. It's going to be quite interesting. Yeah. Good serve. Oh, that's lovely play from Linda Effler. was moving uh, for the straight reply and I think she did right in doing so it was on her forehand side but really well spotted by Lee and then of course guiding that cross court on the defensive shot Oh, he's missed another this time with broken strings. Didn't help his cause. Well left. I simply don't know why Li Jiuhui wasn't actually really waiting for the flick serve because the last time that Falker served 
an attempted low serve, it was woefully loose. It was, it was very, very loose. So I, the chances were he was going to flake. And another one there. Yeah. Probably not feeling too confident on his serve, which is really a tricky thing in mixed doubles because you've got so much to cover. Yeah. yeah. So can she serve a legal serve? Su Yao Ching. Yeah, good serve too. Yeah. That's the fourth time. Probably change it to a forehand serve and just serve long. Yeah. Especially to Effler. Take it from there. Oh, that's superb. Wonderful, wonderful vision and awareness of where the gap was. So again, point opportunity for Chinese Taipei. Oh dear me. So 20 all, extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. Well, German's so out, far out of position. So it's the second game point opportunity for Chinese Taipei. And a second one has come and gone. opportunity for Chinese Taipei. Oh my goodness me. That is an early performance, isn't it? Yeah. Well, there's been seven points gifted away in this yeah. opening game so far. Just on service. On service. Oh, there's another. Three consecutive. Well, that was oh, clearly wide. Was clearly, clearly wide. Yeah. Uh, the umpire. Oh, he's doing the right thing. Yeah. If he feels he can't see it for sure, then of course let Orkai adjudicate it. Yeah. Umpire Los Viris. He is the one who's supposed to call the centre line as well as the front service line. And he couldn't see it, so he's asking for the instant review system. But neither pair will lose a a challenge for this. But it was so clearly wide. But well, what's happened to the instant review?
not so instant. <laughs> <laughs> not so instant. No. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, clearly wide. So it's a force game point opportunity for Li Zhuhui and Xu Yaqing. Yeah, but Xu have to serve and she's got to keep it steady. Well, we've had three consecutive service errors. That's why that's a wonderful return from yeah. Linda Evla. That block shot of the net. It's not easy in a situation like that, and it's skimmed the top of the tape. Well, it's a couple of errors on defence from Fulka. And that was a little bit too ambitious. Yeah. So fifth game point opportunity now for Chinese Taipei. Oh. And this time they convert. Well, what an early edgy opening game between Chinese Taipei and Germany in this mixed doubles. But Chinese Taipei just sneaking through in the end 25-23 well, I must say that uh, Lee and Su I think they kept it really well together in uh, <laughs> at the fact that they were faulted so many times on, on their services we had a situation in Denmark at the Nationals not long ago in the women's doubles where Mette Poulsen and uh, Alexander Boy was playing and uh, they were into a similar situation. They completely lost it, and to such an extent that they're actually being banned by the Danish National Association for two months. Originally for three months. Oh, originally for three months. Yes. Reduced to two months. So tell yeah. me now, Morton, as we look at that final rally again, it was a good rally. How is it that those players have then been selected for Denmark, both here? And the Uber Cup. And in the Uber Cup. I cannot tell you. In all they honesty. suspend players and then select them for the national team. In other words, uh, there is no suspension. They are suspended. Not, they are not playing the Denmark Open. But yes, I am completely with you. I, yeah. I'm completely it's bizarre. with you. They, it is bizarre. You yeah. know, if they're banned, they're banned. And then, of course, they can't play. Yeah. I mean, it's like uh, Japan some years ago saying Momota is suspended uh, for well-documented reasons that he visited uh, an illegal gambling establishment and then saying, but we actually need him for the Thompson Uber Cup and, yeah. and Sudaman Cup. It, yeah. It's ridiculous. He was he was suspended and Japan Babington kept it. Kept it. Yes. Couldn't agree with you more, but it's a similar situation. Yeah. Okay, so second game after that very nervy, very edgy opening game, won by Chinese Taipei in the form of Li Zhehui and Su Yaqing. Well, normally, Morton, I say, what do people have to do? Well, for a start, no, no service errors or service <laughs> faults, I think, would help. There was yeah. eight in that opening game. That would help a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, nicely done. It happens quite a lot, the attack on Effler, and then she's falling back outside, out of court, almost in her defensive stance, which means it's opening up at the front, and Foka is simply not quick enough to cover that gap. Yeah. And we've seen quite a few points. Uh, on the same tactics from uh, the Chinese Taipei team. Oh, that's good placement. Oh, now I saw that as in. I'm with yeah. you on that. But a challenge here from but the Germans. But when you're with me, then it can't go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jill we have, Eagle Eye is here. <laughs> Jill Eagle Eye was definitely Jill Eagle Eye yesterday. I was 100%. Yes. 
So when you're with me, it cannot go wrong. Today is another day, Morton. <laughs> Don't put the kibosh on me. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, let's see. Yes, you're right. It's in. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. She's given him his racket, her racket. <laughs> so I That's it. amazing. <laughs> That's really well played. So awesome. Yao Ching gave her oh. partner her racket. He threw his racket to the side. She ran off and got a new racket. Well, and he's gone and broken her racket for her. Look at that. <laughs> Swaps rackets. <laughs> Extraordinary. And then breaks the strings of her racket. I hope he's going to pay for the restring. <laughs> well, we have seen something like that before. That was with the Malaysians, wasn't it? Yeah. Tang Kiang Ming. We've seen it on a, f on a few occasions, but I think they did it really well. <laughs> they did. Well coordinated. Yes. <laughs> Longest rally of the match so far. Careless error on the return of serve. Oh. And this is a handsome little lead for the Germans. Four point advantage. serve oh, between the legs from Fulker oh she was there she was ready and waiting Shu Ya Ching. That's a good flick serve, and that's way out. Oh, what a start, as you pointed out, Jill. Yeah. Seven of the last eight points. Caught off balance, didn't get back behind the flick serve, Effler. Oh, that is a lovely serve.
very, very important for the German pair to get to the mid game interval as quickly as possible now with a good lead. See if that can take them through and get the second game and treat us to a third and final game. Oh my goodness me. All he had to do was get it over and in. It was an outright winner. Well, it is Germany who have the advantage, a four point advantage at the mid game interval here of the second game. I struggled to hear that. Me too. Yeah. Despite the fact he was talking in English, I still couldn't yes. hear him. That's long. It looked long. Yeah. Yeah. Call out. Oh, that's a super shot. Took it early on the backhand side, Falker, and just guided it down into the mid-court space. Look at that. Yeah. That is perfection. Not only shot-wise, but tactically as well. Yeah. And uh, he's done that a lot when they are in control in the rallies. He's keeping a lot of shots low and, and with no pace, and is doing it really well. Foka is definitely way stronger overhead shots than uh, when he's playing below the tape. That's a big, big difference in quality. Uh, well played by Suya Ching. Very quick in her interception at the net. Once again, a, a fine example of uh, how the Germans are playing really one when they have the control and Foka at the back is playing all these soft shots and a few uh, power smashes as well, but really keeping the control in the rally. The Chinese Taipei have to play a few more block shots and challenge Efla a bit more at the front of the court at the net.
Oh, that's yeah. well taken. Yeah. He's so hot and cold, isn't he? The Joe Quay. Exactly. That's, uh, you know, he, he's playing some of the most fantastic shots and then we see the most easy, simple shots he's missing. Yeah. Just like that block shot at the net yeah. earlier. There was no one there. He still plays it into the net. Oh, no. Service fault called. Well, there's nothing the umpire can do about it. Yeah, well, she, she had a point. And she went and stood next to the Perspex measuring device and 1.15 metre mark did seem quite high up her body. Appeared to be higher than she was serving, but as you said, Morton, we're not in the best place to see. We can't no. possibly make judgment. No, no one can make the judgment apart from the service judge. Because it's positioned in such a way with the angle and everything that uh, only the service judge can see. Yeah. Uh, well, now they completely lost the plot. Yeah. The Chinese Taipei pair. Germans just two points away from taking this second game, levelling this match at one game apiece. And that's a lovely drop shot, but for Chinese Taipei fans, I'm sure it's too little too late. In the second game. In the second game. Mind you, we have watched matches, Morton. We have. Coming we have. back, but with that service error, that's uh, gifted game point opportunities, nine of them. And I can't see them coming back from this. Second beautiful, game. Beautiful, Rick. Variation. 21-11 confirms our umpire and it is indeed one game or 37 minutes into the match and one game apiece. Chinese Taipei coach Sai Chia Sin. got that last shot coming up now yeah. trying to look at placement angle steepness everything it's really well played yeah watch where the shuttle lands yeah in front of Li Jiu Hui indication of the steepness that you're talking about third and deciding game in the first match of this crucial Group B tie between Germany and Chinese Taipei. Well, there's a challenge here. Uh, it's called in. I'm pretty sure that's a wasted challenge. So am I. It looked very much in.
Yeah, plumb on the line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Serves over. One, one. Play. Four, love. Well, it was a huge swing of the racket with the round the head interception attempt. Yeah. Very difficult to get the timing right when you have yeah. such a big swing. Block would have been more suitable. Yeah. Oh my goodness, why didn't yeah. he kill it? Well, he got away with it. Yeah, he got there a little bit too late, I think. Couldn't play the shot he wanted to. Got away with it, as you said, because the quality in that shot was not really good. Fast exchanges driving back, and I think will suit the pair from Chinese Taipei the more. Yeah, yeah, good placement. And I think she did the right thing, Su Yajing, by flicking the serve to Evla from a fairly lower position on her service. Yeah. So it was pretty safe and she got her away with it and into a good position. Let's see if she's going to flick this one as well. Yep. Seems like a much, much better option yeah. for her. Service error from Linda Effler. Yeah, I think the German combination need to be a bit careful about these flat, fast rallies. It was a perfect opportunity for Foker just to block it straight. He's yeah. going for the flat exchange, but he should just block it straight yeah. and he would have got the lift. Exactly. Obviously, he's not happy with himself. Understandable. Flatter smash that time from Falka. Yeah. Uh, had the desired effect. Yeah, Lee couldn't get out of the way. There was a small chance he was going long on the back line. Uh, 
That's going wide. Yes. And that's oh. in. Yeah. Oh, that's a gorgeous shot, isn't it? Well, she's flicking all the time now, taking her step yeah. down much lower, flicking as you Just suggested. Just flicking it as, as I suggested to do. Yeah. So why the Germans aren't looking for that, I'm not quite sure. Well, there's a definite uh, pattern to it. Shot yeah. from Lee Joe Quay. Really nicely spinning. edgy again more than as it was in the <laughs> opening game yeah somehow I still feel that Lee and Sue are having a um, fairly good control on the match here in the third game but the scoreline is not suggesting it no but just purely watching the match I think they are you know looking much much better than their opponents and nevertheless there's just one point in it yeah Effler is going to try and play a, a fast flat game after the first one she's got to move forward yeah she stood still there she stood still and then it's coming downwards and she's yeah. got no chance time wide actually yeah took the first one so it's a two-point advantage at the change of ends well, it's a question of whether Chinese Taipei can keep their emotions under control obviously in that second game got very upset with the faults called on Xu Yaqing's serve Eight minutes into the match. Eleven nine. Play. 
So a two-point advantage for Chinese Taipei in this first match of the tie here in the deciding game. Oh, that could be costly. Uh, it was a nice idea. It's what you were suggesting, Morton. Straight block. Yeah. This is an important point. Uh, good defensive work there from the Germans. Uh, longest rally of this deciding game, I'm pretty certain. But it is interesting to see yeah. that when Li and Su are uh, just slightly under pressure. They lift it straight away. They are not fighting for initiative. Is that because they're just confident in their defences or...? I, I don't know. I, I think um, the coach should address it, of course, uh, back home in training. And they should try to find uh, other solutions as well. Not just lifting it like here, lifting it like here. More strings gone. Yeah. But somehow I think this lead is decisive and in the favour of uh, Li Jiehui and uh, Su Yaqing. I'm not so certain. You're not so certain? No. 49 it was? Yeah. Let's see. I simply don't understand. She's flicked every time yeah. in this deciding game, hasn't she? She has. Since uh, mid-second game, she's been flicking every single serve. Why aren't the Germans looking for it, waiting for that flick serve? There's another. Yeah. Step one, step backwards. Yeah. And really thump it, if at all possible. said earlier he was hot and cold <laughs> there is, somehow it, it looks like there's there's nothing in between it's either absolutely brilliant yeah or not so good <laughs> another error from the racket of Lee Jo Quay It's a big, big point. It's a good serve. Oh, 
Oh, good defence. Especially from Xu Yaqing. Yeah, but well covered by Lee on the on the block shot there. The last one, unfortunately for Effler, that was going into the net. However, well covered by Lee, I think. I think you're right, Morton. I think this five-point advantage now, with only needing three more points, I think it must be decisive. <laughs> I was just going to ask you before, but I thought, no, I'm not going to do that to you. <laughs> yeah. But it, I still agree with you. It, it was touch and go. Yeah. Lucky net court, helping the German cause. That's one of the situations where if you're not used to playing with a partner because in fact Falka was right behind her, perhaps would have been better to play that rather than her trying to intercept. Oh, that's a good serve, yeah, isn't it? Wide. Just let me know, do you, Morton? No, I, in, in my opinion, my humble opinion, it's, it's two pairs, really a little bit in the wilderness. Mm. They don't have a tactical plan. They, they're just reacting to whatever is happening. And uh, therefore, it's also becoming a little bit erratic at times. And, uh, you know, you just never know what's going to happen. Oh, that's long. That's long. That was long. So it is now match point opportunities for Chinese Taipei. Three opportunities to win the mixed doubles, the first of the five matches in this crucial Group B tie. Oh, that's delightful. Final shot from Xu Yaqing. And 21-17 in the deciding game. Chinese Taipei take the opening match in this Group B tie with Germany. Two minutes shy of the hour mark for that match. Oh, my goodness me. Well... The pair from Chinese Taipei, both the players, are playing later. Men's doubles and women's doubles. And they need to sort out their serves before that. But there is confirmation that Chinese Taipei win through 25-23, 11-21, 21-17 in the deciding game. Well, it was a delightful finish to the match. I have to say that little brush shot from Xu Yaqing 
Yeah, both players vying for the attacking play. But look at that. That was just gorgeous. That final shot from Xu Ya Ching. Huge leap in the air to play the drop shot. Yeah, just brushes it off the top of the tape. In fact, it was more of a sort of side spin, wasn't it? Yeah, it was whatever. slightly sliced, I think. Yeah, lovely shot, whatever it was, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I think they can be very, very happy considering how it went. Yeah, so coming up next is men's singles with a former world number two, Chu Tian Chen against Fabian Lorot. So this is where we are based all week. We have this wonderful facility in Vanta. Vanta, just north of Helsinki. Fun fact for you, Helsinki is the most northernmost country ever to have staged the Summer Olympics. Here we are, though, in this Group B encounter. Chinese Taipei against Germany. It's a must-win situation for Germany to get through to the quarter-final knockout stage. Chinese Taipei have won the first match, as you can see. Next up is men's singles, and it features the former world number two, Chu Tian Chen, against Fabian Roth of Germany. After that, we'll have women's singles, then men's doubles and women's doubles.